thing. I'll tell her, hey, you, hey, you, come on, sit down. You're sitting at the grown-ups table. I'm your host, Jesse Pimpinella, and as always, my partner in crime, John Jacobs. Thank you so much, and a happy Wednesday to you, and happy spooky season. Right now, we're joined by our guest, uh, Sarah. How you doing, Sarah? I'm tired. Yeah, Sarah, welcome Sarah, to the show. Woo! Woo! Yeah. This woman right here, just uh, just to brag about her real quick, because I, uh, I will brag face. about like, you no, always. Don't. No, thank you. This woman, uh, she was the co-producer of my comedy special. Uh, basically, what people don't know, what she did was keep me sane, told me the jokes that sucked. She gave me advice like, hey, Jesse, you know like when you record stuff and then they don't laugh? Take that stuff out. <laughs> she and And also the great advice of, don't fuck up. We have bills to pay, which is a good vice. We got bills and shit, Jesse. Yeah, bills and shit. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're here today to uh, talk about a movie that hit theaters recently, Halloween Ends. Now, real quick, before we start, this is going to be a very spoilerific show. So mm. just to let you know, we're going to talk all about it. All right. This thing's been on theaters, Peacock. It's everywhere. I'd bootleg it she if I were you. God. Don't waste the money. Don't give them any money. Don't give them any money. Don't give them any money. I love it. Don't give no, them I money. wanted to rewatch this movie and I have Peacock, but I was like, no, I gotta bootleg it because I don't want because I can't say that I'm watching out of spite. You know what I mean? Like I like I don't want my 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 viewer, my view to go towards like we're doing a good job. I want no. it to go towards like, no, this is like this is like hate fucking. Doesn't mean I want to fuck you again. Uh, but anyways, so before we start, I want to say make sure you go and like and subscribe right now where you're watching. Make sure you share this because we want to share with everybody. We want to bring as many people here to the Grown Ups table because that's the best when you have a table full of people talking about stuff. And that means we want your comments. So comment down right now. You hear anything, anything you want to comment on this show about Halloween ends, your thoughts, your reviews, whatever it might be. We want to hear it. We might even talk about it. But Let's get right into it. So we're going to talk about Halloween ends. So I, I have to say there's no one more happier on this show than John right now. I, I mean, <laughs> all, all I'm going to say is, is that I'm not right all the time. But when I am right, man, it feels good. And uh, it really feels good to have been right about this. But then it doesn't because it's like. I mean, I was right, but then it's like, at what cost? Because like <laughs> my my literal favorite horror franchise of all time was just done dirty. And so I don't know if that was worth it for me being right. You know what I mean? Like, because it's like, I think the cost was too high because I'm like upset. Like, I'm legit upset that this happened. The best way to frame this is John just did the infinity snap and then baby Gamora, who's me, is going up to you and you're like, I told you, Halloween end sucks. And I was like, was it worth it? No. No. But I'm glad I didn't pay theater money because then I would have been really mad. <laughs> like, I was trying to cheer him up and I was like, let's go see it in theaters. We saw it Thursday fucking night. That is $28. I'm never going to get back. Yeah, I agree with you. It's almost as bad as going to Battlefield Earth opening night. Like, I <laughs> well, you know what? I should have known better. There was there was a there was a couple signs I picked up on before I got into the theater. A couple of signs. You no, saw no. It. And here's the thing, and you could back me up with these signs. Actually, when we went to see Maverick, right? Yeah, there was an energy in the room. Like everybody, oh, like, it was fun. unlike anything I've ever experienced. Whoa, whoa. Everybody was like, yelling lines and shit yeah. like that. Like you could ride my tail and you, like shit like that. You know what I mean? Sarah like, missed out. She really missed yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Especially then, on the tailpipe comments. Then like when we go, then when we went to Clerks, you remember when I was buying a shit and the guy behind the counter went snoochie boochies and I'm like, yeah, because ah. he had the shirt on. Yeah, it was. A, yeah. it was. A, it was now, an event. Now it was culture people were there to have fun. Exactly. Now, fast forward to this night. I'm wearing I'm wearing my Halloween gear. I walk in, and everyone behind behind the counter is silent like a funeral. They knew. Uh, Not that bad. They, they knew. knew. They were letting they you. Know. They were. They weren't helping you. They were like, "Yeah, go, go, go." <laughs> see it. go see it. They knew. Yeah. The we left you the at, theater, man? When we left the theater and everybody was cursing, oh, everybody I looked, was fucking pissed. I looked behind the counter and they were all fucking laughing. And that's they knew it. They knew it was shit. Yeah, but with 
with the logic you're using right now, then Scream 5 would have been shit by the energy of the movie theater. Uh, so your the- your logic doesn't hold I up. I still haven't seen Scream 5. Don't spoil it for me. I plan on watching I know, I know. I didn't get Dude, to the theater. I know, I know. It, it's been... How many... It's been... Okay. Like, Sarah, look, you have to understand, Scream 4 really let me down to the point I didn't want to watch anymore um, because I just thought it was just so terrible. It's, like, not even funny. But then, like, everybody's like, no, Scream 5 is actually pretty good. You should watch it. So it's I'm going to watch it. way better than 5. I feel like... I feel like... That is my ride or die franchise. It's mm. so good. Yeah. Well, let's jump I mean, over. Three kind of was, you know, getting there. And then four was like, really? We just have a spoiled entitled teenager and, and that's the plot? Oh, cool. Hey, if it wasn't for the four, if it wasn't for Scream 4, we would have had a Halloween 3D by Harvey Weinstein. So I, I might have been okay with that. Like, <laughs> I mean, like it's just Rob Zombie trying to find a way to not do the franchise and just keep killing them <laughs> off. Like, all right, I'm going to obliterate all of them and destroy their atoms. And Harvey Weinstein's like, let's make another one. He'll be like, hey, I got it. This is how we're gonna bring Michael Myers back. We're gonna go to CERN and we're gonna put a piece of his DNA in the Super Hadron Collider, and that's how we're gonna bring him back. And it would have happened. That's still better than the plot of Halloween ends. Not far away from Jason X, so I mean, why I not? I love Jason X. I love Jason X. Uh, Heather was mentioning in the comments, I think she was combining two films into one, Jason X and Halloween H20. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Jason did go to space, and then Halloween 20 is... Uh, that, that's rhythm. a continuation of Halloween 2. Yes, yeah. it, they it, retcon it, all the it, Jamie it, stuff. Yeah, and honestly, like, H2O wasn't terrible. I mean, look, Josh Hartnett was in it. That was, like, the peak of his career before he just fucking disappeared. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was great in it. Like, it had a decent story. Like, I enjoyed that one. The Lori in 2018 is the Lori I wanted in H2O. I, uh, I won't argue that. Um, I think I think if you're only talking about Lori and Lori only, yeah, yeah. I, I really liked her in the 2018. I did, even though I hated the film, I liked her. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, and then she, and then let's see. <laughs> Tom's already here. Look, we're we're gonna try something different here. We're 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 not just gonna rant. I mean, it will happen. It, it's gonna okay. happen. But I'm we're sorry. we're trying to be fun with our categories today. So you know, it's. The rants will happen. There's going to be a comparison to Hereditary. Like, it's just, it's going to happen. <laughs> There's always yeah. a comparison. I, I've already been There's putting that on the internet. To so, that, that's already out there. Like. <laughs> okay. So now, so today is going to be the first day we do our official new scoring system for At the Grown Ups Table. It's unlike any scoring system out there. Five stars, five daggers, five everything. That means good. No, no, not you here. We're gonna, five is bad for us, but one is good. Okay, remember that one is good, five is bad. We're gonna do the mm, score uh, in honor Thank of you. John. Thank All you. right. Thank yes. You. No, John. This is your scoring system. It is my scoring. So it's just how many hmms. <laughs> yes. No, I do have a question before we get into our scoring system. So, Sarah, when yes. when you were in the theater with Jesse, because I've asked him this question, uh-huh. so I have to ask you now. Okay. So when you were in the theater and you guys were watching this film, did the sound of my voice going mm, yes. enter yeah. your brain at multiple times during this movie? You want to know when I first heard it? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I actually do. She never told I me. I want to know. I do. Okay. So the first one is when Lori's carving the pumpkins. What the fuck does she say? Oh, you gotta find a guy that lets out your wild side and pulls out your titties or yeah. something, something like that. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. What was that about? <laughs> She's way too know. comfortable with her granddaughter. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna talk to my grandkid about whipping out titties when I'm no. like seventy. Yeah. I mean, what I don't get is Lori being sober. It now means she wears dresses and makeup. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Being yeah. sober means you take alcohol out of the picture. You can't take Lori out of Lori. But the- I I agree. De- I didn't think about that. That was not Lori. So yeah. now to build off of that, Sarah, I have another question for you, and I want to see if you kind of picked up on this because again, Jesse and I talked about this earlier. So right along with the Lori thing, right? Mm-hmm. So the movie starts, and they're kind of giving a recap 
of the town and we we've we've been down this road before where we keep making the town a character i don't know why but we keep doing it and she's going on and on about this and that and she's like so you know we 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 just all moved on you know i bought a house in the middle of town and you know i don't have <laughs> dr evil, evil death traps and i got a job and like i live with my granddaughter and i'm like pause okay so Michael comes back in 1978 and kills all of her friends and, and almost kills her, right? And we've dropped the sister storyline. So this is just happenstance. Wrong place, wrong time. And he failed to kill her. And so for 40 years, she's paranoid. She's he's going to come back. Why? There's zero motivation. So I don't know. That's the problem with this trilogy. But moving forward, so for 40 years, years this woman becomes sarah connor she will fuck anybody who will give her military training she buys a bunch of guns she turns her house into a tomb like she ruins relationships with her children and her husband like all of these things in preparation of michael coming back and then he does come back but she fails to kill him because she put him in a dr evil death trap and walked away just like in austin powers yeah, I, aren't I, you gonna sit wrong. there it's like are you gonna sit there dad and watch him die no i'm just gonna look away and hope that right. it turns out the, Turn way on the, the ridiculously slow dipping mechanism or whatever <laughs> he called it like so we have all the, this 40 years of preparation and like living paranoid and like being prepared for this moment and and then it finally happens right o- over one night and then at the end of that night Your daughter gets slaughtered, okay? And then Michael Myers just walks off into the sunrise like in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, not to be seen again. And it's like, oh, okay. So when he was locked up in a mental high maximum security prison, I was living in fear and paranoia for 40 years. But when he's just fucking loose on the street after killing my daughter, let me just go buy a house in the middle of town and stop drinking and not have any guns and just live like I'm naive and have no no care what's going on. Like that from the very beginning when that came out in the movie, I was just like, what? So yeah. Sarah, I want to know how you felt about that because I know that's important to you. Okay, so as a person who is a counselor with a license, a license to do therapy and shit. Okay. I wrote a paper on Halloween 2018 and analyzing oh. Lori's uh, chronic PTSD. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. In short summary, she had everything, the most severe, like textbook chronic PTSD. It would have, it would not have taken four years for her to do that. My guess For her to buy a house in the middle of fucking town, 10 to 15 years. Right. I. I, How long would it take for her to tell her granddaughter, find a guy and you can show off your titties? Yeah, whip out your titties. (laughs) Whip out your titties. What? what? (laughs) No. So, I mean, the character development for Lori did not make sense. Yeah. You go from the severe chronic PTSD. To, oh, I have a house with no security. It's right. fine. <laughs> that does not make sense. Even people who have healed from their PTSD, there is still some level of awareness. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. He had none. That doesn't make sense. Why would you do such a perfect characterization of PTSD, mm. flesh it out for two movies? Because it was good. It was there. I had no problems with how they made her character. I didn't either. I thought her character was fine. It was great. And then it would not have taken four years. It would have taken a long ass time. <laughs> I, just, her- I keep hearing her narrating. She's like, so we bought a house in the middle of town. Yeah. <laughs> with like normal people. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, she basically, I, I, I started laughing because it reminded me of the intro music to every like DC show on the season. Yeah, right. Given a recap, Hi, I'm Oliver Queen, and for no. five years I was stranded on right. it. No, it was like a fucking lifetime movie. It was. It was. It was, it was totally a lifetime movie. That's it what was, it was. It was a fucking lifetime movie that we paid twenty eight dollars for. The Corey it story. Have a lot of killing, and it had okay killing, but not a lot of killing. Just okay killing. Barely fucking killed anybody. 
With the I fuck? think he killed two people, the hot yeah. nurse and then Corey. That was it, right? That was two it. People. I, I yeah. also want to point out one more thing. Um, how did we go from the end of Halloween Kills where it's like, oh, Michael's a supernatural being. being. He's not a regular 60-year-old man. He can get the fuck beat out of him, and he's fine. Okay, and then we open with a rickety-ass old man having trouble sleeping up. Dude, the, when he, I think one of my mm, things. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yes. So, I, like I said, real quick, I want to give this a mm, 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 five. I want to give it a five of those. Now, ten. It, it, ten? Okay. Ten. Anyways. Remember, five so, is bad, folks. Five is bad. So Five is bad. <laughs> so, because, like, when they were wrestling with each other, I could just imagine, like, your force ghost <laughs> sat next to me and looked at me like, mm. <laughs> right, like you just see me sit down, like you just materialize, <laughs> right? Like that blue like, glow around me. <laughs> you're, like ass one, cloak on. <laughs> you're like the one dead friend from uh, American Werewolf in London. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you just sit down next to him, like that was you, and you're just looking like mm, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> there were multiple times during the movie where we said to each other, "Oh, John's gonna fucking hate, hate this." this. <laughs> Dude, you were there at the I was there in spirit. I love it. I love it. Like, we were like, John's going to fucking hate this. <laughs> John's going to fucking hate that. <laughs> so many things. Like, like, I, think, I think I said it about 10 oh. times. And that movie's two hours. Yeah, 10 fucking times. But the great thing is, is all those times you hated those things too. That's it. It wasn't just, <laughs> oh, John's going to hate this because it's John and I love it. It's, no, this is fucking terrible and John's going to hate it. And yeah. John's going to hate it. <laughs> like, all right, so let's get in. Let's get into it real quickly. So. Yeah, we kind of sidebarred there. I apologize. Right. But I, I really wanted to hear that from Sarah <laughs> because I know that was super important and I, I wanted to get yeah. that out. So Heather gives it a five slashes. Did she mean like flat five mm, with like what we were talking about, Les? No. Good or bad? Uh, who held the popcorn? Uh, we put it. We put it uh, on. We bounced it on the the middle part of the seat. Uh, there was a death grip at one point on the popcorn bowl. Oh yeah, there was yeah, a death grip. Yeah. We were just like, "Fuck this." Mm -hmm. I have an inappropriate comment, but I'll leave that to myself. Oh Heather, my god. Heather, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're getting our scores. Heather gives it five mmms. Yeah, there we go. Tom gives it three mmms. Okay. I, I'm good. I like this. Let us know your score this thing, guys. I love uh, it. I, All think, right. I think Michael gave it uh, four. He put four knives in it, so I'm assuming he gave it the four. Mm, so. mm, I but I don't know. He He's did. free to correct himself. I don't want to speak for him. All <laughs> right, so let's get right into it. Yeah, let's uh, get it. Let's here we go. Oh, my God. This movie? So, uh, what, so a couple of things I felt uh, really wrong, and let's, let's discuss this, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to just talk about it right now. Corey was just the biggest mistake in that whole movie yeah i mean I, at first i thought like oh he's gonna be the catalyst since everybody sidelined michael and nobody's looking for michael i thought he would like start it off get killed early or get framed by get framed by michael but Corey seemed to just fuck it all up something popped into my mind what you just said jesse yeah <laughs> you were like people weren't looking for him so let's establish that michael has been staying down the street from everybody for four years like he didn't go anywhere like he went down the block into he the sewer runoff pipe. disappearing the hobo dude was like people that go in that sewer don't come out alive he said yeah. it's gory Real quick. And there, if you notice um there are like there's shots where there'll be a billboard in the background with like a missing person's picture. Yeah. there were some bulletin boards that had stuff on so I, I get what they were trying to paint, but you can't be that subtle when your villain supposedly disappeared, but he's just been living down the street and nobody seems to have been able to find him. It's kind of like the father from uh, Arrested <laughs> Development when he's living up in the attic. Oh my God. <laughs> It's just like he was there the whole time. Like, in, in, in this massive killing spree that he did that night, all these people he killed. And, and, and then the angry mob, the part I hated about kills the most, but I realize you loved it, Jesse, and that's okay. Um, we can differ. We can differ. Is that you had all these people ready to, like, mob this man, 
well, where the fuck were those people for four years looking for his ass? Were they just like, eh, we're good, like Lori. Eh, let's go to the drive-in tonight. Like, what are you doing? Like, it just makes no <laughs> sense, man. Well, actually, that there is some sense to that. No, 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 there is some sense to that. Because in the last two years, we've seen people get over stuff pretty fast. Disaster-wise, yeah, pandemic-wise. Like, people should- are like, ah, eh, whatever. No, but that you can't even use that logic because there were still people in the parking lot at the grocery store where where the yeah who were giving her like, shit about it yeah yeah, yeah. and it wasn't that's just true. the one person it was a group yeah so that's true it yeah it doesn't add up I like how they're just egg I liked how they were victim blaming Lori like why'd you egg him on why'd yeah, you like, oh I'm sorry this man killed my whole family forty years ago he just killed my daughter but then you're giving me shit about it. <laughs> Like what, dude? Everybody was pricks about it. Like, they oh, were, man. They know were. your neighbor's name, dude. My neighbor lives two inches away from me in my apartment. Don't know who the fuck it is. <laughs> like, like what expectation? They live in like in farmlands. I, I imagine Lori had acres. So I mean, like, yeah, but as paranoid as she was, I feel like she would know who was living around her. No, oh, yeah, def- definitely. She yeah. even if she didn't meet them, she right, would have like done the background, you know, like yeah. on her computer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think she would about them, you know. I think she would have done threat assessment, and that was it. That's all. She's like, is they a threat? No, okay. Uh, real quick, Michael gave oh, it. There, four. Yeah. So okay. Michael, now remember, four is close to five. Five equals bad. I thought you liked this movie. Am I misunderstanding? Please clarify. Okay. <laughs> And then, uh, if you're living in the sewer, being murdered would be the least of my worries. I mean, and like he had that sewer decked out, like that was Ninja Turtles' lair, man. He had. <laughs> he like, had there was day years. four. Okay, there was a day year four. For each turtle. <laughs> a year for each turtle. That's what happened. Year- <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was, oh my god! It just it was. Dude, I like the the one shots. It, like, you know what pissed me off? Okay, in the 2018 one, there was that beautiful one shot where he's going through the neighborhood and just absolutely mm-hmm. obliterating people. Sure. And then we and then we got a one shot in this movie. It was him and Corey wrestling for the knife or the mask. That I, was a one shot. That was a one shot because we just sat in the tube and you like stop it. I want the mask. No, I want the mask. And I'm like, I was like, this is what we came down to. This one shot of a mask fight. Okay, I, I'm just gonna say something. Uh, David Gordon Green, if you fuck up The Exorcist, I'm gonna come after you. Don't. I'm not like. I, I just. I don't even think there's a point to watch it. Like, wh- first of all, how are you gonna top anything that was done in the original? Because if you're gonna do a remake or a reboot, that's the goal. You have identified that there is something that you can drastically improve upon now everybody knows that the exorcist is the only movie in existence that scares me and that's because (laughs) my birth father forced me to watch it when i was five years old so that meme that floats around out there that's like yeah i suppose i got addicted to horror because i was five and watched the exorcist like yeah (laughs) joke no that's me for real (laughs) well only movie i won't watch i've seen people who need to see it with i was interested in i would watch the, a reboot or a remake but in that same token i don't think there's anything that can be approved upon so i'm not sure why that's even happening like it, there's really not much you can do better we're, without we're, working stupid we're now in the era of legacy sequels which we've had some good ones mm-hmm. uh, scream 5 banger 2018 i know you don't like it I still no, like. I, I, look, I get it. I know people yeah. love it. That's fine. Chucky, the Chucky TV the show. TV show. Oh, Chucky TV amazing. show is great. Yeah. yeah. So we're in we're in the era of legacy sequels. We already had a bad one with Texas Chainsaw. I'm still upset about that one. Oh, I don't know what. <laughs> I mean, it's it's hard to even say. I don't know what went wrong because like everything went wrong. They right. filmed yeah. it one time and then they threw out all the footage, got a new director, and then refilmed it again. I am I mean, just the concept. So part of me is like, what how bad was that first cut of footage it might that made been. them go like fuck it, we need to do this it all probably over. was better. And then they were like, you know what? Yeah. I got it. You know what Texas Chainsaw Massacre needs? A bunch of Gen Zers who are gonna buy a ghost town and flip it to investors. That's the plot for <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
and somebody the, actually got that approved in a board meeting. And the, the worst part is that movie, like Halloween Ends, uh, squandered all great opportunities yep. to do great yep. things. Because I did the one thing I did like about the Texas Chainsaw thing was the school shooting element. But this whole idea of PTSD it. and surviving one terrible thing going, there could have been something cathartic with that, but then they squandered sure. it. Then with yeah, this they could have done okay. I see what you're saying. They could have done it better. Yeah. Like you like the idea, they just didn't execute it properly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They squandered it. Like this movie, yeah, like yeah. I thought like maybe like Corey would have been like getting he would, you know, he was this town leopard, and maybe when Michael started killing again, he was gonna get framed and scapegoated or something. That's what yeah, I thought was gonna I thought yeah, I, I, Michael I was gonna start killing and they were gonna blame Corey. That's what I thought was gonna happen yeah. as I was I watching the film. The death of this movie was the four year time jump. I killed it. You killed yeah, all the intensity. Yep, you, it did. They shouldn't have broken mm -hmm. Allison's leg at the end of Kills. Should she not, should have, done not that. have done it. Lori should not have been as mortally wounded as she was at the end of mm -hmm. Kills. Mm -hmm. She should have did that thing in uh and Rambo Three. Remember when Rambo Three was shot? She puts the he puts the gunpowder oh, on the wound when he had to cauterize the wound. Oh, yeah, just cauterize it. <laughs> Fuck like yeah, man! Sudden, That's how you do it in the field, that bro. That would have made more sense. <laughs> like, like yeah. all of a sudden, Lori pulls out shotgun shells oh, in the hospital, and the doctor's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Lori's ah! like, "Hold on a second, I got this." <laughs> all right, I'm good. I'm out of here. Like, I'm yeah, going to kick like, Michael's ass. She could have heated up the knife she was carrying for the majority of the movie mm. and cauterized it. There yeah. you go. Like, okay, okay. So talking about how this went wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep getting Thanks for bringing it off. back, Sarah. I'm sorry. Thank you. I keep getting everybody off topic. I'm sorry. I'm really pissed off. This movie was terrible, so it's okay. We're not yeah. really worried about it. <laughs> like, just, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> I love that. So you get out, you're like ready to reset, and you're just like, <laughs> it's, it's a palate cleanser. <laughs> I, feel, I feel personally betrayed by Jamie Lee Curtis, by the way. She was hyping this fucking movie up on Instagram. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel personally betrayed. It's just really hard because, like, when you watch Resurrection, which was better than Ends. <laughs> oh, um, it was. I mean, it was. This like, is the only time she ever was. said Resurrection was better than anything. It, it was. It was. Because let me just tell you why Resurrection was better. First, they killed Lori in the beginning. Awesome. <laughs> Second of all, they brought it back to the house. Awesome. Third, you killed fucking Kevin from American Pie awesome and then lastly oh fuck him he's the worst character in america and tyra banks crying all the time crying over terror nobody gives a shit about tara reed man I'm crying about her <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> no it's just no what john said needed to be said out loud okay it needed to be said it man. Needed nobody be cries said. over tara reed man oh and they had we her have, time and then we have the most epic showdown which should have been in this movie halloween ends between michael and Lori, but instead we got it with buster rhymes when he kicked the fucking shit out of michael myers with his fucking kung fu dude it was yeah. amazing halloween resurrection was better than ends i've said it there it is. i still love his i no, love the line agrees i love the line where he's like you ready to be on Danger Entertainment? <laughs> like, like, I was like, fucking A, this is the greatest movie oh ever. Oh my you god. Know? And they killed Tyra Banks, which is great. I yeah, mean, that is great. She's a shit person. Like, like that movie, if anything, I would say Michael was the hero of that movie. Like <laughs> Michael ended it. Because I, I know, mean, here's the thing. Michael came home. Uh -huh. All right. If anything, they broke and entered. Oh my god. All right. Stand they the did break into his house. He, he had did. full right to stand his ground and kill he all did. of them. What the and he killed everybody on property. Oh, he did. He, he did. did. He absolutely did. Yeah. I think he dragged someone back in the house. Just Without a gun. Brutal. It was all no, either barehanded or like with a knife. He didn't shoot anybody. He like shoot he stood anybody. his fucking ground and was like, let's go. And he killed a bunch of reality stars, which do we need more of those? I mean, like, I mean, if anything, I would say Michael was doing the Lord's work. Like, like let's just face whoa, it. Is this like a frailty crossover here? <laughs> Are we going to go Michael, there, Jesse? Well, Michael was his own sibling the entire time. No, you spit on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. He spit on your wife? What are you doing, man? <laughs> nasty. Wait, okay. there, there was one more thing I wanted to say. You kept yelling. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was him. Oh. 
Uh, Jesse and I yell together, so we don't know <laughs> who's actually yelling, so you have to be specific on which one of us. Yeah, I know, and I lost my fucking train. Oh, now I remember. Okay, so the horror subreddit on Reddit, um, mm. they fucking called this storyline. They're normally right. Yeah. I was stupid and was like, no, that's not it. They called it. Wow. And I'm mad. And you want to know when I knew that they called it? With the fucking pumpkins intro. With the pumpkin inside of a pumpkin. I like it. Pumpkin. I like the no. intro. I thought well, it was the intro's good. No, it, like it's what intro. it meant. It was the foreshadowing that I did. Oh, okay. It I was, see what you're saying. I was, see what you're saying. It was good, but then I saw it and I was like, oh, fuck, they were right. It, mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a cool intro, at least. It was. It was a neat effect. I thought it was cool. Yeah. It was very, cool. it was very first movie, but like updated, you know? I thought yeah. that was cool. And I loved that they did the uh, titles from Halloween yes. 3, the yeah. font and the color. That was cool. So there were like, yeah. look, Quentin Tarantino always says there's at least one thing positive you can say about a movie. There is mine. I like the pumpkin. I like the title credits. And and they, they had a good rendition of the song. So yeah. there we go. There's what I liked. I, I liked, uh, I, for me, I, I have to say, I liked some of the kills. Some of the kills were great. I loved when oh, he got the, the blowtorch in the face. Torch, that was I really love cool. that. That was great. And then, that was pretty cool. And then, um, I like, like I said, that the last five, 15 minutes, you know, you had, you had, uh, you know, the, the, the last fight, even though the last fight wasn't as satisfying, it was still the last was fight. so short. And then and it was just like, bam, bam, bam. I'm like, that's the 45 year, like, and then epic the, battle we've been waiting for. And then they like, gave us the greatest Halloween parade of all time. Yeah. <laughs> they dragged his body through fucking town square, man. Just so you know, they killed Mussolini almost like that in Italy. During and then they World threw his ass in the chopper. He ain't I, coming back. Yeah. I really his head thought, popped at the end. He's not coming back. <laughs> I really thought when they put him in the what it's not a wood chipper. What the fuck did they put him oh, in? Oh, it was a con a uh, it's like a scrap grinder. Okay. Yeah, it was one of the you put like the big metal items yeah. in and it like destroys them. I thought when they put him in there and then Laurie stood on top, I really thought he was gonna like grab her ankle. That would have been awesome. Like, oh, that, that would have been that awesome. Would, that would have redeemed the whole movie. It would have. I would have been like really happy about that because you know mm -hmm. that was like two hours of shit, but that was good payoff. Yeah. And they fucking tease. The fuck out of Laurie dying in the motherfucking trailers. Mm, Don't mm. put it out there if you're not gonna do anything. Bait she was not switch, even man. she wasn't even mortally wounded. She probably had a concussion. Yeah. This one I just didn't feel like it was a, a true fight to the death. I just kind of felt like Michael was at his weakest. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesse, oh. so remember you asked me for three of my predictions before I watched the movie, right? Yeah. One of my predictions was Michael and Lori were going to both die. However, they were going to die. They were both going to die. And then it didn't happen. And now talking about this, Sarah, how awesome would that have been to just have a hand come up, grab her, pull her in, and watch that thing pop her head and cut her up? I, that Holy shit. That would, that would have redeemed the whole movie for me. The whole movie. That would have. Mm-hmm. As much as I would uh, hate to see her die, I think that would have redeemed it. I would have, I would have preferred would that have. in the fake ass Lori that we got. Yeah, no, I oh, I'm so happy now and forget all this trauma in my life. Look at me, that's I'm talking not, about my granddaughter. That that's not what mental health does. You got to put active work in it besides getting sober. So, so I, so just to kind of collectively talk about. So it seems like before we move on to the next topic, and we go to the comments. Uh, I'll sum, I'll kind of sum her up. So we didn't like the lack of Michael, the right. the lack right. of reverence towards Lori with her mental illness, the final right. battle, you know, could have been bigger, better, the time jump, the uh, lack of character development. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's a so those are the things that we didn't like about it. So uh, let us know what you guys didn't like about it as well. We're gonna jump over to the comment section and just uh, visit what everybody was saying. There, this is very um, important because, look, let me just set this up, okay? So Mike and I talked, uh, pro Michael, keep me honest, it was probably the day after, even that night when I started posting about it. And, uh, and you know, it, it, it was, 
you know, I was talking about, you're like, hey, I liked it. You know, I like this stuff. I like this. And I was just like, eh. So now you've kind of changed your tune. So so Michael's thought about it, right? And so now he's kind of changing his position. Go to his next comment. Okay. That he has right after this one. Yeah. I See, would agree and, with that. And, and that's the thing. And like, you know, the, like all through all of us here. So Michael, me, Sarah, Jesse, uh, Tom's in here. Watch. I know Tom is a huge. All these people are Michael Myers fans. Yeah. And it, it's just interesting to me on how, you know, there's two sides. You either liked it or you didn't. There's really nothing in the middle. It's either one or the other. But, you know, it's like, okay, well, the, of the people I know, these people liked it these people didn't like it and figuring out why I think is very interesting. And I, I totally value Michael's opinion because he is a hardcore horror fan, just like we are. And yeah. he and I aligned on a lot of things, but we're not aligned on a lot of things. And the fact that he's kind of thought about it and he's shifting his position is interesting to me. So uh, good on you, Michael, for doing some creative thinking and, and really examining how you felt about it. Uh, yeah. That's awesome, man. Good job. Yeah. Because the thing about this movie, I mean, because and and to be fair, I think the biggest reason why people don't like this movie is because this was not a Halloween movie. It was true and true. Halloween, but it was like, like if this wasn't a Halloween movie and it was some other weird serial killer movie, it would it would it would have been middle of the road. It wouldn't have been excellent. It just been middle of the road, but it would be something like, all right, I dig it, I can watch this. But because it it there was so much promised with this and then so much let down from it. it. It just angered fans. It was this movie all in all, in all was just a slap in the face. I, I totally agree. What I'm irritated with is this was hyped up as I'm a, I'm a reference Harry Potter. Oh shit. Oh, Here we only, go. It's the only franchise. Harry Potter, let's hear it. Okay. All right. So I thought with the way this was hyped up, by Jamie Lee Curtis and the other people on the Halloween team, it was going to be like Deathly Hallows Part 2. Mm, I was expecting, mm. you know that moment in Deathly Hallows Part 2 where Harry fucking hugs Voldemort and they fall off the thing? Oh, yeah. That is what I was expecting. That is what the trailer set up. Like, let's finish it. We have had so many movies that have had that same type of energy. It's an easy formula to copy. It's not anything new. Yeah, this was a very simple film to land yeah. the plane. Like, look, they should have kept it the same exact night. This is this trilogy represents uh it's a fight night. One night yeah. only, three rounds, yeah. whoever comes out on yeah. top, winner takes all. Yeah. You know, first round yeah. went to Lori, second round went to Michael. And yeah. this I mean, imagine the tagline, this is your last Halloween, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is your last fucking Halloween. You know what I mean? And she's still angry and reeling because she lost all yeah, her daughter, yeah. The, and then the granddaughter just lost all of her parents. Everybody's just fresh. Imagine a whole town fresh with anger. It would have been, but with a little defeat because of kills in that parade sequence where they they're finally like done with Michael. Yeah, I think there would have been more. more it, you were right, honey. It took the passion out of it by doing the time jump. It did. It just took the lust out of it. There, like, there was no intensity. The beginning of Halloween ends should have been the end. That would have made more sense for Lori to be like, oh, I bought a house in town. I live with my do my granddaughter. That would have made sense. They just. It would have been earned. It would have been earned. Yeah. Yes. Because that would have shown them moving on. Yeah. Right? You can't move on if the killer is still at large. Hey, it living down the street from you exactly. in a pipe. Like, like. Even in all the Halloween movies at the beginning of Halloween 5. Aren't they still on edge that it's close to Halloween and nobody's seen Michael Myers? Well, because he, he 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 did his thing and then Jamie killed her mom, but then it came yeah. out she didn't really kill her. But they were still looking for Michael because they shot his ass. And then remember, he he crawled into the little river, yeah. the little river rapids and went down the rapids and then came back a couple hours later yeah. and started killing everybody again. And, and here's the funny thing. In Halloween 4, Michael was gone for 10 years. But the 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 hint of Michael is back. They ramped up, dude. There was a there was a kill mob. There was everything. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. Like, this, the movie fuck is like, this movie is like four years, and they're like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're killing ourselves, but Maybe. we're not really worried about Michael Myers. It's the, just like what? The other issue is they were they were so quick 
to pull stuff from Halloween 2 to put in a Halloween kill. Mm, mm. You could yeah, pull, they were. You could pull stuff from 4 and 5 mm -hmm. to put in ends. Mm -hmm. Or fucking steal H2O. That yeah. would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I totally agree. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Is this a, a part in the show where we can talk about what people on the internet are saying? We could. We could definitely talk about okay. that. Because there, I, I've been involved with conversations all week. I'm sure people who follow me on Facebook. I hate that when you make a comment on a public page in Facebook, it automatically publishes it to your feed. It didn't used to do that. You used to be able to prevent that from happening. And then Facebook said, fuck it. We want everybody to see everything you do. And now you can't do that. So I'm sure some of you who follow me have seen me commenting. But I found it interesting because here's what bothers me is that Look, we, we I, I say I talk so much shit about movies, like especially hereditary, right? <laughs> like, but it's art, it is subjective. Now, there are objective standards that we that we hold against art when we're criticizing it for quality or lack of quality, but at the end of the day, you like what you like. I love Superman 3. It is my favorite Superman movie of all the Superman movies. But I realize it's the second worst Superman movie ever made. I'm never going to not admit that. I know that. I know it's a bad movie. But I like it. So it's like I see people comment and it's like they antagonize the other side. So for an example... People will say like, well, I loved this film. This was so great. This wasn't Michael Myers' film. This film was about Laurie and Closure. And, you know, people just watch this movie for the wrong reason. You know, it's clear that people who watch this movie aren't Halloween fans. They're Michael Myers fans. And I'm like, pause, dude. What the fuck do you mean? What's the difference between a Michael Myers fan and a Halloween fan? Nothing. Halloween is the film. It's the narrative. Michael Myers is the character. You can't have 12 or whatever the number of Halloween movies are all have the same narrative and framework. And then in this last one, completely flip it upside down. <coughs> last Jedi. And then expect people to be like, oh my God, this was so amazing. It's so great. It reminds me of those people that were defending Last Jedi, where they're like, well, you're not a real Star Wars fan. Just like, you're not a real Halloween fan if you didn't like... I mean, dude, get bent. The movie was not good. Like, yeah. I get that you liked it, and that's awesome. I don't want to take that away from... And, and and I find that kind of insulting, also, on the glory. It is glory. insulting. Because it, the, here's the thing. I would, argue, I would argue that these past two movies were as much Lori as they were michael yeah. i would say this new movie was neither laurie and neither michael it was it, it was cory it, it, it was fucking mortal Kombat with cole or like resident evil with alice like why are you inventing characters when you already have them right here ready it, to yeah. go the ending of a trilogy is not the time to introduce new characters <laughs> or to flip it upside down or do whatever hot take you want to do that that's right. You don't fuck around. You look. Here's how. Who are you, that. Godfather and in they Godfather did. Three and Incest? But they Listen. Did. They here's did. what I said. They it's, did a hot take with Halloween Kills in the town. They that, did. That was a hot take. And the problem is, is that they decided to experiment on Thanksgiving. And what did we learn from that lady on that viral YouTube video? Don't fuck around with the macaroni and cheese. You make the macaroni and cheese that we all like and that we all want. You save that weird shit for when you're at your house and you make that macaroni and cheese there. You don't experiment on Thanksgiving. And that's exactly what they did in Halloween Ends. They experimented on Thanksgiving when it wasn't appropriate. I feel like John I Carpenter... Because he did an interview where he's like, it's a departure, but, you know, Ugh. it ends. I feel like he wanted to say, hey, guys, um, we got another resurrection on our hands. Uh, don't see it. He's like, bye. <laughs> John done. Carpenter, he got his check. I feel bad for paid. him, though. Everybody so, got paid on that movie. They did, but could you imagine getting a second chance to, like, reclaim your franchise yeah. that yeah. got bastardized? Mm -hmm. And then it ends like that. And he was super involved with all three of these movies. You can't tell me that he's pissed off. Yeah, it's, only... it's, I, I, it's like none of them watched the, the original film that these no. three then are based off. It's like 
I feel like they didn't watch the last two. Like, and it would have been they wrote themselves into a corner, and there they were they did. there were enough people working on those fucking movies to be like, hey, maybe don't break Allison's leg. Just a thought. Yeah. Or have her just sprain her fucking ankle. Why did her leg have to go like that? Yeah. yeah. It. Just, I agree. Not only was this movie a slap in the face to fans, it was a slap in the face to John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis. It was. It ruined her, her fucking franchise that got her started. This should have been the most perfect movie ever made for her. And it was it, a disaster. Virus was a better movie than this fucking movie. This and that's not a lot. Yeah, I see you laughing, Jess. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what you thought. She hates that fucking movie. <laughs> oh, also, I saw Virus opening night in the theater, too. Yeah, I'm let sorry. That sink in. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I might want to watch Virus tonight now. <laughs> Do it. Do it. It's not, actually, it's not bad. Like, it's years, not that bad. It's not that bad, man. <laughs> this could have been a swan song to Jamie Lee Curtis. Yep, that's what I wanted, man. I wanted it to be her movie and her fighting Michael, and either she kills him or they kill each other. And yeah. yes, she killed him, but it's just like, hand, hand. Okay, cool. You nailed him to the counter like Jesus. Awesome. What do you do? <laughs> he slashed his throat. Oh, cool. Here we go. So you turn Michael Myers into Jesus. Congratulations. He's having a moment. Just get on this. <laughs> oh my, is he all right? Can he breathe? I don't hear him breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him over there. I wasn't ready for that comment. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Look at him over there. Oh, I'm crying now. I'm laughing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he can't breathe. Look at him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh shit! Are you gonna throw up? I thought I was gonna throw up. That was really funny. Oh my god! <laughs> I just I wasn't ready for John to say they nailed him to the cross like this kitchen counter like Jesus. I really yeah, hope my mom's not watching this, or we're gonna get an angry text oh. from Marianne later. Holy shit! No, just, just send her my way. I'll talk to her. That way. Holy know. shit! That was good. <laughs> you okay? Oh, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, dude, I'm crying, man. <laughs> Your reaction, Jesse. Wow, you lost it there. Because now when I think about it, his hands like this. Oh my god. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he had he his feet were his feet were yeah. crossed yeah. under the, the frame. Yeah. And he had his hand yeah. And, <laughs> and then yeah. done. I'm just saying you're right. That's all. You know, that was that was a mental image I did not need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I thought like maybe next Halloween I could watch the last fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, you ruined that, John. Thank you. I mean, but maybe I made it better for you. I think you made it better. Now you get a Jesus story in Halloween. So there you go. Because I mean, when he was on the cross, he did get stabbed in the side. Remember that? I I mean, that is true, Jesse. They did stab him to make sure he was dead, and then that magic blood hit their face. Let's not. God. I mean, there was. That's not the discussion for this show. We're entering like a very wrong. And on November third, he rose from the dead. <laughs> oh man! Oh, all right, all right, all right. I think we went too what far. We did, but it was good, man. It was good. All right, I'm, so, I'm glad we went there. Yeah. Oh, say the list. <laughs> all right. So yeah, but uh, anyways, I I uh, I don't know how to get us back on track. Except There's no way. I know we were talking so, about we we were talking about debates online and how people are saying this wasn't a true yeah. Halloween and so movie. that's what that's what bothered me so they're like oh well you're not a real fan if you didn't like it or you watched it for the wrong reasons you watched it for the kills and it's really about this i'm like okay motherfucker let's slow down a second here all right <laughs> it's a fucking halloween movie it's supposed to be about michael myers slaughtering people that's what a slasher movie is if you want to fucking make a lifetime horror movie then make a lifetime horror movie and put it on the lifetime channel. Yeah. Don't again, don't experiment on Thanksgiving. That's the best way that I can explain it. But and it, that's exactly what they did. They experimented on Thanksgiving. But it's not even an experiment. Like Halloween season of the witch. It's a great movie. 
it failed at the box office for a reason because it wasn't Michael Myers. Well, right. If they had just called it anything, anything they could have else. even called they could have called it Beggar's Night and it would have done better. Yeah. But because they put the Halloween name on it, it fucked it all up. It's exactly. not a bad film, but it's a good people movie. never gave it a chance. But yeah. that so it's not even that they took a they took a chance with it. No, they knew people weren't going to like it because of Season of the Witch. Mm-hmm. Not that much has changed. But they also they were also saying shit during, they were like, oh, everybody's going to be mad about this film. They were saying that weeks up until the premiere, that people are going to be mad about this movie. And so it, if you're saying that, then that should be some flags going off for people. Like, wait a minute here. Why are yeah. they saying this? Well, and, and here's the best part. Here's Or the worst part, depending on how you want to view it. The funeral procession scene wasn't added in until later. That's like oh the God, what part. was the original plan then? Holy shit. The original shit. plan was open his wrists up like how I wanted to in that movie theater, and that was it. That Just, was it? And you gotta make sure you go down the middle so you get all of them, oh not across. Down, down. Yeah. Oh God, but she did do that. Michael, she Michael was going it. And she slashed his wrist just to make sure. Michael was going down the street instead of across the street to Lori's house. Didn't she? Yeah, there you go. What? I feel like there's a cootie shot in there somewhere too, Jesse. Dot, dot. Now you got a cootie shot. Now you got a cootie shot. Yeah. I really want to know if there's a director's cut and if it is marginally better. I'll I'll watch it. If if it ever comes out, I promise you, I'm telling everybody here, I will watch it if that comes out. And I, I will watch it and give it a fair chance. Because the extended cut of Halloween Kills was better. I heard that, but I couldn't bring myself to watch that. But I will watch ends if they do that. Yeah. Yeah. I I hated kills so much. I hated it so much. I don't don't know if it was a writing or editing error. It was probably both. Well, also, and and here's the thing. Here's another sign I had when I was watching Halloween Ends that worried me. Is that all of a sudden we have two different writers we haven't had in the previous two movies mm-hmm. on this, oh. and that scared me because if yeah. you know movies that well, anytime when you see a huge written by da 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 da, da that's a scary moment because that means someone didn't like the original script, so these guys were brought in, and this guy was brought in because that guy yep. didn't like this, and you know, there's only a few times where a movie is written by more than four people where it's a banger, and then most of the time it's not good. What I want to know is, because I remember when Halloween 2018, like, the publicity was happening, there was a lot of, like, hype saying Jamie Lee Curtis had, like, some creative control. He's an executive producer for all three. Where the fuck did she have any control in Halloween Ends? That's what I want to know. She Here's the thing. She did. So I Or maybe they... I don't know. Or it know. was all a lie. I don't know. I, I think... Well, I think you gotta understand executive producer and producer are kind of different. Like in, in terms of their involvement, regular producer is the one that's in the weeds. Weeds. Executive producer is kind of like the producers over here. If that makes yeah, sense. yeah. Well, the thing is, Jamie Lee Curtis was a big producer on these films mm-hmm. because these movies would not have happened without her. Because the the gentleman who owns the rights to Halloween. He is like he puppy dogs the the legacy. Question: of Halloween. How does John Carpenter not own his fucking movie? It's his uh, movie. How does he not own it? He what? was incredibly poor when they made Halloween. I know. <laughs> he was. I actually. Well, he, he, he would have bought it by now. Like, why would you not own your shit? You know well, what I mean. He, I I think he. he I, don't, I think he was commissioned to make it. If I remember correctly, he was commissioned to make it. They wanted to make a movie. The, the company that exists, exists the Malika, I'm going to mess up their name with stuff. But anyways. Um, Akkad. Akkad. Malika Akkad is the one that owns the rights right now. The other one was. Mustaf. Mustafa. Akkad. Yeah. He was the original one. Yeah. So they could, tr- from what I understand, they, they really liked uh, Assault on Precinct 13 mm-hmm. and all these movies. Great movie. It, and so what they wanted, they wanted to make a movie based around the the urban legend of the babysitter killer kind of shit. You know, the one where it's like you get a phone call upstairs and you get a call and the guy's in the house the entire time, basically to that nature. It was loosely based on that idea. But so 
basically that's how the movie got started. So I think because he was more or less commissioned to make it rather than it solely originated from him, I think that's why that guy can hold holds on to the rights. I think he should buy the rights back so nobody makes any more movies. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, Maybe. let it die. You let it stop unless, making the movies. Unless you're gonna retcon Halloween ends and make it the ending we all deserve. No more. No more. Yeah. They, they won't. There's there's no retconning. And here's the thing too. Like, and this is the thing that really upsets me about the internet is that like people don't know when to be appropriate. It's it's kind of like like look, there's a time to fuck and there's a time to not fuck. And if you try to fuck when it's a time to not fuck, you probably go to jail or get killed, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you, you got to make sure that it's the time, and and this was not I the mean, time. This 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 was not the time to fuck. And somebody chose to do it, and here's what we got stuck with as a result. Yeah. I think in the coming weeks when they – I mean, here the, the hard part about this movie is that it doesn't matter if it's as successful as its pro- process, the, the, the previous films, because it's the last movie, the trilogy. And I think it already made back its money. It did. So, it because did. it was a $20 million budget, they already made $40 mil back. So, that, so, so the worst part is that – there isn't going to be a direct response to seeing this as a bad idea. Yeah, but it's like the... the. I hope I'm wrong. Public opinion is a very powerful... It, it, I it hope is. I'm wrong. It is. And I'm look, wrong. money talks. And look, when you when you, when you you have a film that, that's $20 million and you only gross 40... Now, I know the film's still going, but let's just use 40 as a round number. Doubling your money on a $20 million budget, it, that's not good. That, that people aren't making money off of that. You're paying all the bills and oh, then making yeah. a little side cash. That that's not a blockbuster. You're not. No one's getting rich off this movie. And I think that's another eye opener too. Is that money talks, especially in Hollywood, especially in studios, and they don't invest money to lose money. They banked on everybody going to see this because it was Halloween. They let whatever fucking writers write whatever the fuck they wanted because they knew no matter what. Butts were going to go in seats in that theater, and they did. But the problem is, is you compare box office from last week, compare it to this week after this week ends. Watch that fucking plummet go straight down. So the that that movie's mouth, not going to be that profitable. They're not. They're not going to be like, oh, we got to make another one now. No, no, no. I definitely, I definitely want that to be true. I, do, I'm more pessimistic because, like, you know, from what just from what I've seen, I've been seeing on the horror subreddit it word of mouth is bad people universally hate this fucking movie Mm -hmm. it's Mm -hmm. not it's not gonna make much more money like in theaters or streaming like yeah i mean it's on peacock so yeah and like halloween kills it at least had some positives to it and some people did did like it sure it did this is the only movie where every single post that I see either on Reddit or Facebook or whatever, where people are just like, this movie was straight up trash. Mm-hmm. And I that's why know. I got, that's why I got so mad at the people who were talking shit from the other side. The people who are liked it are talking shit to the people who didn't. And it's like, bro, just stop. Just stop. It, I get you liked it, but you're, you're one grain of sand on an entire beach. So check yourself before you get lippy with other yeah. people. Yeah. And the Lori that we got in Halloween 2018 in Kills. I, okay. I don't want to make this political, but. Mm, but you're going to. No, I'm not going to. I, all I'm going to say is she was a very strong female character. And I'm very, okay with that. That was and great. Very, and very inspirational. I'm not going to lie. With the past few months of our government, which has been bullshit. I've watched Halloween 2018. I watched Halloween Kills. She was fucking badass. It made me feel a little bit better. And then you just fucking wreck it. Mm-hmm. Like Yeah. We don't we don't have a lot of objectively strong women that are not still attached to some trope or stereotype. Yeah. And I feel like Lori is one of those true actual Strong women like Ripley, another example, yep. right? There's no tropes or shit attached to Ripley. And I felt the same about, about Jamie Lee Curtis and Lori 
And I can yeah. definitely see how that's inspiring, especially with the story they set up with 2018. And that's why it just hurts even more with how this movie went down. Not that they they didn't attack her, like they didn't change her her like strong womanness to her, but to your point, Sarah, they fucked up the mental problems and yeah. they, they literally flipped her into a new person with a four year time jump that just makes no sense. So all of those feelings that you had for her in those first two films, they're gone. And this film and not even Will Patton, everybody loves Will Patton. Not even Will Patton could save this movie. Okay. Like there is not a person he did his best. Planet he that I know that doesn't like Will Patton. And he couldn't even save this movie, man. He tried his best. Like he tried. He scene, brought his A game to this movie, and I give him credit for that. Yeah. Yeah. That was the yeah, he he was like, ugh. But yeah, but anyways, let's jump over to the comment section. Yeah, we'll let's, uh, out. let's round this episode out with, with there's been a ton of comments, and we haven't featured a lot of them today. So let's just take some time as we wind down. Let's go through some of the comments and and feature some of our friends and followers and what they have to say. I think Corey okay. was an unsuspected villain. I kind of rooted for, but he was too soft to be the next Michael. He had to go. Totally agree, Tom. Uh, yeah, totally yeah. Agree. Totally agree. He, there were moments, like, again, with the fucking blowtorch to the face, awesome. But then there's other moments where he just totally caves. And it's just like, what, yeah. what are you doing? You're supposed to be Michael Myers. Just keep walking. Take that shot. Keep yeah. walking. What yeah. are you doing? Like, it just... He threw that fit when the when the nurse locked him out. He's like, yeah! Like, 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 you don't see Michael getting mad. Like, you remember H2O when Laurie shuts the door on him and he just stares through the window like, I'm going to get you. I really thought they were going to do some crazy shit with Allison getting with him and they were going to be some murderous duo and we were just going to yeah. get a remake of Natural Born Killers. But thank God that didn't happen. Thank God. Uh, thank God. No, I, <laughs> I don't God like that happen. movie. No, I don't like that movie because I know what Tarantino was originally trying to do with that script before Oliver Stone fucked it up. And it's did he fuck it up though, Jesse? Or did he make it better? No, he didn't. Uh, That'll be a different episode. The debate. Oh yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. Oh so uh the hype man yeah. and a writer of these new Howie movie has been very silent these days. Mr. Danny McBride. At least uh Rob Zombie tossed in the towel after two. The pumpkin towel. Funny enough. We talked about this. Rob yep. Zombie tried to toss it in on the first one. He didn't want to even do that. They made him do that second movie. So if you listen to interviews from him, he's like, fuck this movie. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't want to do it. They made me do it. Like, it was just like, I just wanted to be one and done. Yeah. And yeah. that I respect at least. Yeah, yeah, because the Rob Zombie Halloween movie, I still love. It's I love it. I absolutely, I think it was great, and that's an example of how you do a reboot. You build upon what was there. Yeah. So he didn't have to change the story we all know, Michael stalking and you know throughout the night. But what he built upon was Michael's motivation and how Michael became Michael, and I thought that was fascinating. Yeah. And that's why I just don't understand why people shit on that movie so much. Because it's good. Like, it's not a bad film. No. It's because everybody, there are some people that are so hardcore about the idea of him not having, not knowing his motive. And, and look, just Rob Zombie haters out there, too. Yeah. Been, and look, here's the thing. Out. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm one of those people where I, I don't want Michael to have a motive. But I could look at this movie subjectively <laughs> and objectively and go, no, I like that they did that. He had to do something a little bit different or mm -hmm. else. You're just making a, a shot for yeah. shot remake of Psycho, yeah. which did not work out. Hey, I liked the Vince Vaughn Psycho. I'll defend that movie. I want Vince Vaughn to go, like, do I kill her? Do I not kill her? Like, I don't know. It's like, stop, mom. stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Like, mom. Stop. Okay, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go on to the next comment. In my opinion, oh, yeah, we already did that. Oh, yeah. We, we did that one. Yeah. All right. All right. Resurrection was trash. At best, it made texting Aww. on a mobile device look useful. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible cast across the board with I still know what you did last summer contest vibe. Okay, I'm going to just say one thing to Tom. Tom. Jesus Christ. Kevin from American Pie, the most annoying character yes. ever created in the 90s, gets a fucking knife to his head. The movie wasn't bad. <laughs> Tyra Banks got it in the movie. Yeah, was Tyra Martin. Banks was in the movie. Come on, man. This is a 90s staple. Busta Rhymes. Bust, Again, Busta, Busta Rhymes. Rhymes. Busta Rhymes 
did a successful 360 jump sidekick. He Not sure a- did. Into the power lines, electrocuting he- Michael. It was amazing. Like The only thing lot. that would have been better is if Tupac had showed up. Then all hell would have broken loose. <laughs> all hell would have broken loose. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Corey sat up again from the ground just like I like that. I actually like that shot. I thought that shot was really cool. I thought that was cool. It kind of gave me the vibes. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, I agree. That was a great shot. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Michael kills Lori. Daughter kills Michael. Daughter notices Corey is suddenly gone and not dead. Roll credits. That that would have been a much better ending. I would have been here for that. Interesting. (laughs) That's an Tom, that's out. great, man. That was a really good. That's a good one. All right. Yeah. I was hoping that they would unmask Michael at the end, and he yeah. would finally talk, but his voice would be Bob Cat Gold no. way. Uh, I've heard that. I heard that from other people. I heard that online. I saw that comment from a couple of people. Yeah, I would be here for that too. I am glad that they unmasked him, and I am glad that it wasn't a close up. You got to see enough to realize, okay, he's a decrepit old man, but yet he's still supernatural. But oh wait, now he's not supernatural because he's been living in a you know, a pipe down the street. Like there was this, there was a meme that had the Michael Myers face over top of Chris Farley doing the thing. And he's like, I am in a pipe down by the river. And I'm like, that's perfect. Because it's exactly that. He moved down the street. Nobody knew he was there for four years. That's very true. That's very true. Like, oh, I live down, live down by the river. <laughs> the more I think about it, Rob Zombie's The White Horse Halloween 2 has moved up on my list. Oh, yes. Michael moved it up. Okay. Actually, yeah, I, I told you okay. this. I would rather watch Halloween 2 over Halloween Ends. I, I would. I, I totally would. I, least, I, I agree. At huh? least Zombie tries to make the best out of a bad situation. That he didn't even want to make. <laughs> he didn't even want to do it, but he still tried his best. But the thing is, it's so bad that it's good. Like, it's Ugh. just fun to watch. I'm never gonna watch Halloween Ends again. Like fuck that. I agree. There's I'm no reason not... to watch it again. It's it's forgettable, and that's it's the not... that's the shame. I want to forget it. That's it's it's beyond yeah. forgettable. Yeah. I just want to forget it. I fucking uh, rented Halloween Five to watch, it. It. <laughs> so it's I paid two ninety nine. Well, th- sorry, three ninety nine. We only do HD in this house. So three ninety nine to fucking watch Halloween five because I had to knock the taste of Halloween ends out of my mouth. I just want to see before this episode. I just want to see you be, be disappointed with your daughter because she got SD instead of HD. <laughs> that does not happen here. She has already been informed. She knows. <laughs> like we've had that discussion. This is a this is a high definition house. We do not do standard definition. Okay. Oh my <laughs> All right. Uh, I really think uh, this should be a four-hour show and a call-in option. Well, One day. Now, Tom, I like where you're going. We have talked about call-in stuff. More to come on that. Wait, More to wait. come on that. Uh, I'm ready for a Friday the 13th Part 13. I'm here for it, Tom. Yep. I'm totally here for it. I'm here for I that. Still, Absolutely. I still have my movie that I wish I could make, and it would be a prequel to Halloween uh, Friday the 13th. It would be uh, Pamela uh more he's her first killing spree it Ooh, opens, I'm down. I'm opens down imagine opens on a rainy day in a cemetery i love it yeah. on a rainy sunday and then these kids cool these kids evening. are just like oh i'm so sad i'm so sad i'm so sad you see this tiny little casket go into the ground and you see pamela just smoking and one of them has the audacity to go nice. we didn't know but they don't apologize they said we didn't know we we could have we could have seen but none of them really say sorry and then in her head, she's like, I'm going to fucking kill them. But I want her to say something quippy. Like, I hope that load you dropped was good because I'm about to drop your head next. <laughs> like, you know, like something like that. I want I want something quippy from Pamela. I okay? hope that load was as good as the load I'm dropping right now. There and it is. Yeah. 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 We got to have the we gotta have the Misty or the Virginia Slim hanging out of her yeah. mouth. You know, while she's you buried, that line. You buried your dick in her, so I have to bury my son. <laughs> There it is. There it is. There it is. I'm done. There we go. And I'm. We're ready to go. I'm. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'll go further on the real world parallel with this movie, but not in the comments. I appreciate her last statement. Oh, Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Smiley face. (laughs) Yes, the first thirteen. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm down. I am totally down for for a Pamela Voorhees prequel. 
Like I'm, I'm here for that. No one has to convince me. I am here for I, that. Yeah, I, I think it would be. I, it's what we, because like, because if you watch, I watched the original Friday the Thirteenth. You and I watched it. Yeah. And you hear in the first twenty minutes of exposition, they talk about this killing, these deaths have been going on mm-hmm. for a very long time. Yeah. 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 And I would like to see. I would like to see a Pamela pissed off, fucking angry. Like, because in this movie, she was it, she was pretty bad, but she wasn't killing the kids that did it. True. She was just killing kids that were there trying to get anybody that showed up to that camp. She was killing them. I know, but imagine, if, <laughs> imagine if a year later after the funeral, camp is still open and those kids are still are still camp counselors. Like, yeah, I, I would, I would love that. I, I would love that, and I want every kill to be two people are having sex and they get killed at the same time. So I love those. I love those. Yes. Actually, when I play Friday the Thirteenth uh, video game, I always try to go for that kill. Yeah, yeah, like, that one there. or the one where you pick their head up and just shove them on the spike that's yeah. sticking out from the wall. That's love that's that. a personal favorite of mine when I get to play as Jason. Love that. W- which Jason do you play as? Oh, I like to play as the NES Jason. Oh, okay, okay. I like playing as uh, Jason Six. Mm, that's a good one. That's a While good. I, one. I, like I actually have that one leveled up too, so I've got all the unlocks for that costume. Yeah. While I don't like the walking for that, I I think Friday the Thirteenth Six is the best. So you just use the teleport. You don't ever have to walk in that game. You just fucking teleport yeah, yeah. wherever yeah. you want to go. But I love that. I love that movie so much because it upped the stakes. It took them six movies to realize, hey, let's bring kids to the camp. Like up the stakes. You know, yeah. Anyways. That's another show. Killing another kids, time. man. That's how you. That's how you get money. That's how you gain popularity. Kill a bunch of kids. What <laughs> happened to Star Wars? Everybody started bitch about the prequels. Well, let's have Anakin slaughter a bunch of kids. Boom! Skyrocket the ratings. Kids dying helps us. Helps. Does kill a really bunch does. of kids. Shit's gonna get more. Oh yeah. Maybe that's why you didn't like the first Michael Myers movie because or the Halloween 2018. He saw the baby and he skipped it. He just left the house. I mean, it's a baby. That's a little, it, look, badass little kid talking shit deserves to have their throat slash. Little baby that doesn't know what's going on. I let the baby live. We're let good. the baby yeah. live. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was saying, could have been hardcore. I'm kidding. I would be awful. I mean, that Anyways. kid like slapped like a grown up out in public. Kill him. Done. That's it. You're done. Fair. That's fair. fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Anyways, well, that's all the time we got today. I want to thank. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we we went into overtime, but we, we, we did. needed to. This was this was more of like a this was a venting. Session. This is a venting session. Like a venting session. Yes, we this was the, we were, we were all victimized by the same person, David Gordon Green, and we needed to talk about. It. Yeah, we needed to talk about. It. But I want to thank everybody who lit up the comment section. Oh, yeah. uh, Tom, Tom, Michael. Uh, let's see, Heather. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Shep was watching. Shep, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Monica was watching. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we had a lot, a lot of uh, my buddy Brian was watching. Uh Brian, I was hoping to get some comments from Brian. Um, he really enjoyed the film. He and I haven't got a whole lot. We just had a couple of Facebook exchanges. We haven't got to go deep in it. I was hoping he was gonna comment uh so he and I could go a little deeper, but uh, he and I can do that and then we can do a follow up or talk about that later or whatever. But uh, Sounds yeah, good. Brian, my friend Brian is a huge Michael Myers fan, huge, huge, huge. And I find it interesting that he's on the opposite side of the spectrum than I am on the film. Well, so well, I tell him to, him to comment this Sunday because, on top of it, like I said, I know I spoke to you about this. Sarah and I were going to be spinning off uh, to do another show on at the grown ups table because. John and I have always envisioned uh, the at the Grown's Table not only to be our show, but to also be a network of other it's platforms. Podcasts. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing the uh, the Bride of Pimpy. Oh, I love the name! I this is the first time I heard the name. I yeah. love the name. That's awesome. So we're gonna be talking about horror movies, so we will probably be talking a little bit more about Halloween. So <laughs> if anybody wants to join in on the comment section, uh, John, you're always free to jump into the show at any time. You're yeah. you're technically the producer on this as well, so. I, mean, I don't. I don't want to take away from this. Is really, Sarah's show. So I want. It to is. I'm just. Highlight. I'm the. I'm the plucky sidekick, really, with this. Plucky. Plucky indeed. You're not plucky. I'm You're not, not plucky, plucky at all, dude. Pudgy. 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 You're kind of a dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> A dumbass. So, You're like uh, the Quasimodo of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we'll be uh, dropping the details for when the show will air. It'll be Sunday. We're going to do a Sunday late. We're going to do a Sunday late show. 
Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, everybody. Keep watching. Like I said, I'm still working on the Roku, making that smoother to get new episodes of At The Grown Ups Table on. But don't worry. You can just watch them on YouTube the next day. And also many of the small clips I have broken down, watch them, share them. Let everybody know because we want everybody to be sitting at the Grown Ups Table with us. But until next time, I'm Jesse. And I'm John. And you've been sitting at the Grown Ups Table. Oh, one more thing. Let's give it up for Sarah joining us oh real God. quick. Yeah. I love Sarah episodes. They're the best because it's best. two things happen. Either Sarah and I agree on everything or we don't agree on anything. And it's like clash. So either way, it's good. Much. Conflict mm. is good. Makes good shows. But anyways, I'm Jesse. Oh, and I'm John again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You sitting at the Grown Ups Table. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. Oh, fucking deja 